malware-filled Android apps will be eliminated, according to Google. Developers now have a new responsibility that will make it much more difficult for hackers to publish an infected app. Malware-infected Android apps are a common occurrence. When you consider installing a banal app, a secret piece of malware starts to remotely commandeer your smartphone and steal your personal information. Passwords, addresses, bank information, and more, just reading that list makes you shiver. Google regularly bans harmful Android apps because it is well aware of the issue. In its fight against this scourge, the company is now moving forward. Before apps can be submitted for publication on the Play Store, developers must now submit a DUNS number. A very organized process that will undoubtedly deter many hackers is concealed behind this acronym. Worldwide Unique Business Identification Number has nine digits and is used by a variety of organizations, including the United Nations, Apple, the European Commission, and the American government. It is not simple to obtain. The process can take up to 30 days and involves submitting a number of carefully scrutinized documents. It's safe to assume that many cyber criminals will find it challenging to comply with this new requirement. They will need to establish a business to begin the process, and specifically to start over if they are banned, which will happen sooner or later. All developers, including those who already have accounts to publish on the Play Store, will eventually be required to provide their DUNS numbers. Furthermore, Google announces a change to the contact details that are currently shown on application pages. Now, we will see the name of the developer, an address, and an email. The business's name, complete postal address, phone number, and website. Google will periodically verify the supplied information to guarantee its accuracy. Please like, share, and subscribe and let us know what you think about this move Google is about to make.